The Fifth African Union Committee of 10 C10 Summit on the UN Security Council reform in Equatorial Guinea focused on assessing almost two decades of the committee activities. President Julius Madabio stated that the purpose of the summit was to take stock of the progress made in terms of delivering on the core mandates of the committee in so far as canvassing supports for the common African position. Our meeting here today further gives us the opportunity to reaffirm our full commitment to the common African position and offer the necessary guidance to our relevant officials to advance their engagement in the UN Security Council reform process. By reason of colonialism and its vestiges, Africa is not being represented in a permanent category and is totally underrepresented in the non-permanent category of the United Nations Security Council. In this regard, enhanced engagement could mean to properly situate ourselves to take advantage of any opportunity that may arise from the efforts of the IGN co-chairs, member states, and also interest groups. For instance, to either develop a holistic plan for the reform of the United Nations Security Council, or advocate for the treatment of Africa as a special case and be prioritized. President Bio is strongly convinced that maintaining solidarity with the common African position is the main strength for advancing the collective interest in the reform of the UN Security Council. I will firstly propose that we task our officials to come up with an engagement plan and an aid memoir to assist our engagement with the P5 members. Second, I'm pleased to inform that I have tasked my mission in New York to use the Syrian presidency of the United Nations Security Council in August 2024 to hold a high-level event, one of our signature events, on the reform of the UN Security Council and the imperative to address historical injustice done to Africa. We demand two seats in the permanent category of the United Nations Security Council and an additional two seats in the non-permanent category, bringing the total of non-permanent seats to five. The African Union will choose the African permanent members. The clarion call for Africa to be treated as a priority and special case in the reform process was highly evident. Salifu Chorna Kamara, a Web News.